Are you someone who's actually spending more time when it comes to market research? Are you thinking that if I start this small business, how will I make sure that my business hits to the crores level one day? Are you thinking that okay, I have a business, but I don't know what are the best marketing ways? If you are thinking any of these, please continue watching this video because I'm going to tell you one inspiring story with their marketing tricks that they use. and you will not believe this they are a very famous brand and i'm very sure you would have also come across that the story that i'm going to tell you about is a genius marketing strategy about the candy that is all our favorite and it's called as pulse i'm varsha rain kumar welcome to the freedom business english channel do not forget to subscribe and download our freedom app As we are talking about pulse, I'm very sure all of you would have at least tasted pulse once in your life. The tangy, sweet taste, and all of us love mangoes. And when it comes to raw mangoes, it's always the most tastiest thing, mixed up with a spice a little. When it comes with such a nice jira flavor as well, we all would love it. And that's where pulse made its entire change in the market when it bought in their chocolates, and we all saw a different flavor of chocolates. All that we knew was Cadbury's, we knew Kacha Mango Bite, we knew all that Alpenlebe, and also some gum chocolates which were like Boomer and all of them. But Pulse was something really new to us. And when we are talking about this particular company, how did this company, all the way from just being one rupee candy, make three hundred crores business in just the span of three years? How did it go that different? What was that initial plan that they had, and how did Pulse, as soon as it came to the market? have its own way of differences and how did it make the promotions and what was that one logic that pulse used that nobody else did i'm going to tell you those questions when we think about a chocolate which is just a rupee making 300 crores in a very very quick time that is really surprising for all of us but everything happens over its time and process when you have the right knowledge when your product should be released in the market and when you have the right knowledge of what is the need See sometimes you have to make inventions depending on the market use but when you know it's different from the ones which is already in use you know that that product will go no matter what but there is a catch to make sure your product is supplied everywhere that is called as marketing it always depends on the way you market itself so when i'm talking about all this as an entrepreneur or a business person or a person with a business mindset you always have to think about three aspects when we talk about pulse this story dates back to 2013 as we talk about this company the company was called as gs groups and they came up with many more product apart from pulse and when they thought about the idea of pulse candy they actually noticed that their candy had to make some difference in the entire market so when the story takes us back to 2013 they had this entire plan in 2013 itself but over the time they happened to launch their entire candy plan on 2015 why why washa why would they launch it at 2015 when they already had planned it in 2013 here are our key learnings where we have to focus and understand that why do we need to make such a difference when we have our own business and why should we think like a business rather than a startup and why do we have to make the difference so that people come towards our product I'm going to tell you this in basic key points that you can also think and implement it in your business and take a couple of guidelines because sometimes case studies provide us with so much knowledge that we do not even know that this has happened in so and so brand itself. Talking about Pulse itself, let's get back to the year 2013 in which the GS group were actually identifying and first thing that I am talking to you about is about the proper market research that they did. How did they do the market research? they realized that over time back back then in 2013 and everything we could see that there were lot of candies and getting candy in the world where there was already a lot of candies was a dumbest move anyone could do it was actually ruled by alpenlebe mango bite as well as boomer and as we can see back then there were so many sweet tasting candies that people were actually prioritizing which one to buy selectively if you are a buyer itself you would go for different variety and something that actually suits your taste 
Sweet candies are actually ruling the market in 2013 and everything. They took a year time to analyze that what are the preferences of each and every person here. And when they realized it, they actually noticed that mango is the quickest selling thing that happens all over the world. And second thing is that when it comes to a sour taste, which is raw mango, is even more faster. They could see that kacha mango bite actually made a huge difference in the market when it was released. Like we could see that ad of the kacha mango bite of Xerox and the way they promoted and everything. That's where these people have to happen to notice that kacha mango white is one of the most happening chocolates back then added advantage to themselves what they did is that over time they had a research of what is the collective taste that they required and how is it to be used and then they came up with a difference of the taste and later in 2015 they happened to launch their candies though they know that there was a lot of candies which were already competing with them So GS Group did not only think about pulse. If you actually notice their previous behavior as well, they bought in Baba Elaichi and also Rajni Gan and Pass Pass. If you actually take each of their case studies, you'll notice that they had a long time for market research. Let's take example of Pass Pass. They made sure that this product was actually launched after four years of discussion of the entire product that they wanted to get into the market. What happened is that they made sure that they notice the product and see the consumer behavior and demand of the consumers. As we know that they they started noticing that there were so many smokers and there were people who wanted mouth refreshed in a lot of ways. That's why they bought in this mint product and made sure that this mint product is been sold everywhere where there was necessity and they saw the market demand and pass pass actually became very famous similarly they happened to get in pulse they saw the market requirement and they saw that the tangy and the sweet taste were to be mixed and a lot of people started consuming it initially this came into the market of gujarat and rajasthan as we all know that gujarat and rajasthan prefer a tangy taste more and rather than anything as we all noticed that the sales of this particular candy started growing so fast that they didn't even require marketing in the initial stages it was so much consuming and the demand for this product grew so much that in just 8 months they had more than 100 crores turnover this is where they realized that this candy can actually make a huge difference in each city itself that's where they started of thinking and taking the consideration of growing even out of the borders of rajasthan and gujarat so what happened is that they started noticing that they need to make sure that their candy is identified by each and every consumer who wants to consume something tangy as well as sweet so the second key learning is here the marketing they went up to each and every small stores to the big stores made sure that they place their product and make sure they spoke to each of them in such a way that they sell their products whenever there is need of the candy so when people initially came and asked there were no much of sales for candy such as kacha mango bite or there were no much sales when it comes for alpen libe and also even boomers and everything so what happened is that they started prioritizing pulse and when people started taking pulse they started liking it especially when people came they made sure that they tell the shopkeepers in such a way that whenever there is a need for a candy by a consumer let's say smokers or let's say people who are very stressed and then they just pass by the shop or something they made sure that pulse is given to them and people know that pulse is actually a flavor which is mixed of what they have created rather than compared to other products which is already in the market so people started consuming that and initially when they started consuming that immediately the product clicked as fast as they expected and planned it worked in the same way because people started liking it and not only did they do that they made sure that they understand the basic criteria and problem of a retail shop and they saw that change is something that is very hard for us to have and keep itself as we all go and buy something in a shop they always have issues while returning us the change so they made sure that they give pulse as the return for the change itself that was much more easier when it came to promotions so whenever people initially went and did not have change as a return people started giving pulse chocolate as return and people started liking the chocolate and people started getting the chocolate in bulk this is actually one of the problems that happened to pulse itself as well when people started consuming the chocolate in bulk the candy's demand started growing and within 3 years they made 300 crores of profit and talking about this problem how they solved they made sure that they cut down the process of manufacturing and brought down to such a level first store the entire candies and then go about with it for distribution that's where they started making good money and as we all saw that they started coming up with great ads which actually showed people that consuming pulse was also helpful for digestion itself and over time when they started bringing new concepts of all this people started liking it and reacting to that particular product and moving on to the next sector of marketing as 
as we all know that social media has always got its power when it comes to marketing as well so they started getting the eye of influencers and one meme clicks rest all clicks that's how it started and pulse memes actually started clicking people started using pulse and influencers started promoting pulse this is where their marketing side of the aspect also clicked so when you see this i have told a lot of marketing tricks used by each and every company but as you all know that it depends on the size and the quality of your business as well so you have to always think about your business model and the size of your business so you can determine that what way of promotion or what way of marketing is to be made it's different for a shoe brand it's different for a beverage brand it's different for a particular food brand and it's also different for candies and chocolates as well this is few things that you as an entrepreneur or as a businessman or a woman can think of the ways that you can start promoting and marketing you have to think of what your business is and that's when you can determine what is the marketing ways initially i mentioned that i there are some people who are having trouble with the business which is really good but do not know the ways to market always think about what is best for your business and what is the best service it can provide and the ways that you can make people identify your product actually exists think by the size of your entire business in the first place so the entire process in the formula simply used by the entire pulse brand which is gs groups was just a simple factor called as snowball effect they actually bought in the product within gujarat made sure that people who like tangy and sweet taste start liking it raw mangoes were the best ideas to start candy with as we all know that pulse is almost the copy of kacha mango bite itself but the tangy flavor within it adds more effect to the candy itself that is where you can understand that it's something that they started small but over the time the way it kept spreading all over the cities and the country itself bought in a huge change and turn over to this particular the brand itself as we all know that they just did not stop there every company or every business always needs something called as expansion and today we can see the way pulse has expanded by giving out many more different flavors as well we all know that when the expansion process actually happens you have to even focus on the brighter side of noticing if you have a food venture what are the different types of foods that you can provide and as you're expanding you have to even make sure what are the different types of flavors that you can provide for example right now in the present generation we can actually see that cadbury's has actually come up with more and more flavors such as rub the flavor and also mango and everything you can actually go and see that the market keeps on increasing on the effect of demand needed by the people checking out the priority of people checking out the behavior of the consumers on based of all of these is where you have to start your product having the basic knowledge of what is much used over time people's preferences also keep changing and over time you also have to keep on making the changes along with that to make sure that your brand has a particular reason to sustain in the market you have to keep expanding with the consumer's thoughts itself so if you like this video do not forget to like share and subscribe hope i've given you great knowledge when it comes to marketing of a small candy and a small business that turned out into a crore turnover so if you are also interested in knowing more and more stories like this also do go and check out my other case studies that i have made on marketing sales as well and also do not forget to download our freedom app because it's got a wide range of courses which are more than 800 and you can actually learn the business from scratch and implement all the strategies that i am telling you in my channel and when i'm talking about business and marketing you need your basic knowledge also when it comes to personal finances we also have courses for that because those are the foundation when it comes to business and you can also learn about stock as well and moving on to the part if you're more and more interested in organic farming we even have courses on that do not forget to download our app because it's going to give you great knowledge and also thank you so much get wise and break free